Well, hello there, Eric Griffith here again in Mobile Tech Studio B. And today's tip is gonna be how to change your name in Google Classroom or for those Google admins like myself, how to prevent users, the folks we support and love on a daily basis, from changing their name within the Google ecosystem, right? So what I'm talking about is inside of your Google Classroom, if you want your name to appear as something other than your first name and your last name, all right? So hopefully, however, your Google admin had this set up was the way you wanted. But if it isn't, here's how you change that as a teacher, okay? So let's jump over on our desktop and you don't have to do this within Google Classroom. Um, you can do this anywhere. All you have to do is go up to your little account symbol there. It could be your initial, it could be your picture, your avatar, avatar whatever you've chosen. All you have to do is click on that and then click manage your account. Once you click manage your account, you wanna go over to the left hand side, you're gonna see something that says personal info. You're gonna click on that and then right there in the center is your name. You're gonna click on that. First, it's gonna prompt you to type in your password and then once you type in your password, it's gonna ask you to change your name. Now, if you tried that and it didn't work and it says, I'm sorry, your system administrator has prevented you from doing this, that means your system administrator has prevented you from doing this. So the next part of the video is for the system administrator to go ahead and turn that setting on or off. However, before you leave, I want to talk to you about what the ramifications are for changing your name. When you change your name in Google Classroom, it not only changes it in Google Classroom, but it changes it everywhere within your Google account. That includes your email. When you email people out, it's not gonna come from your first name and your last name anymore. It's gonna come from whatever you change your first name to, Mr. Griffith or Mrs. Smith, all right? So understand that when you change that, it's a global setting, okay? Perhaps your Google admin has that turned off for a reason. Maybe it's synchronizing with another system that makes everything work well together. So what I suggest is before you as a teacher decide to change that, ask your Google admin if it's okay because it may cause some problems for them, okay? Now, if you're a Google admin and you're wanting to turn this feature on or off, you can only do it within the admin console, all right? So how you do that is right here. The settings are go into your directory, click on directory settings, then select profile editing on the OU on the left. OU stands for organizational unit. You wanna select all the students or maybe the teachers. In my example, I need to turn this off for my students because I don't want my students to, name, to change their name anymore. I swear if I get one more email from IP Freely, I'm gonna lose it, right? Anywho, I wanna change this so that doesn't happen and then I wanna select name, right? That's gonna turn that off and then I'll hit save and my problem is over, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into the Google desktop and take a look how to do this, right? I'm in my Google admin console. I'm gonna go up to the top, those three little dots. I'm gonna click that link. I'm gonna go down to directory and under directory, we have directory settings. I wanna click on that and it loads up this new menu. Right here in the very center, it says profile editing. I wanna click on profile editing. Then I wanna select my OU that I wanna turn this off. Again, I'm just gonna turn this off for my students so I know exactly where that is. I'm gonna to go to the very top of the domain. Everything underneath that domain, all my other grade levels and classes are gonna inherit this setting. So I wanna go ahead and just unselect name. This then prevents them from changing their name. Okay, once I've done that, then very important, I have to go down here to the very bottom and click save and then my problem is resolved. Now, before I leave you, I do wanna talk about some of the ramifications here. If you turn this off and the child has already changed it, you're going to go half, you're going to have to go in and find their account under users and change it back for them. One other note, if you're an admin who has something like a Google Cloud Directory Sync set up and it's synchronizing with your Active Directory, uh, you're gonna wanna test this out and make sure that leaving it on for your staff members doesn't cause any problems. I don't believe it does, but you don't wanna take my word for it on that. Maybe it synchronizes with Clever or something else and it will cause problems down the line, all right? Typically those applications only pass the data on, they don't synchronize them. So just something to be aware of uh, on how those settings work. Maybe you wanna set up a test OU and figure that out for yourself. So, all right, I hope you enjoyed this tip or trick, 
And if you would, follow me on the Twitters. That's at Mr. Griftastic. And I hope you have a Griftastic day. Thanks.